This video was created by Vinyl Lake Puma of Vinyl Lake Puma Gaming. What's going on everybody? This is Vinyl Lake Puma and today I am back with another Borderlands the pre-sequel Legendary Weapons Guide video today. And today we are going to be looking at the Hyperion Omni Cannon Sniper Rifle. Now, if you don't know what this is, this is essentially a Cobra except it's a much better version of the Cobra from Borderlands 2. Uh, really, I would recommend if you can get your hands on this gun or you have the time to farm for it, it is definitely worth it. Unlike the Cobra, which in my opinion, and some people are probably going to get mad by me saying this, kind of sucks. Now, to get this gun, what you have to do is you have to kill the Sponks. Now, the Sponks only spawns if you have completed the Temple of Boom quest or in the middle of the Temple of Boom quest. So this is a respawnable boss, and you can farm this guy over and over again. As you can see here, I got my Omni Cannon to drop from him. And what we'll go ahead and we'll do now is we'll go ahead and show this gun in action. You'll see there that it has this kind of like rocket launcher firing effect which is kind of interesting. And then when it hits objects, you're going to see that it has that explosive effect very much like the Cobra. Now, um, I don't remember this exactly because it's been a while since I have played Borderlands 2, but I think the difference between the Cobra in Borderlands 2 and the Omni Cannon in Borderlands the pre-sequel is that the... Cobra in Borderlands 2 was an explosive projectile with explosive splash. The Omni Cannon in Borderlands the pre-sequel is a non-elemental projectile with explosive splash. And you'll see here where we're getting those ridiculous criticals. We're, we're getting like 15 million, 1.5 million, 2 million uh, on average. Those are all, that's all non-elemental damage. Now there is like some splash that goes on there, but I think it's actually much smaller than um, that non-elemental damage number. It's probably around 200,000. Um, but as you can see here, um, what I would recommend you do is if you are going to use this on Aurelia, um, don't spec into large caliber like I did. Because you'll kind of see here, I get kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place. And I have to switch weapons to kind of survive. Um, but that's pretty much my opinion on that. Um, now, the Omni Cannon isn't going to one-shot a lot of these, like, really ultimate badass enemies. Um, really, I'd recommend you go with either a higher DPS, like, sniper rifle, like maybe the long nail, or just another weapon in general. Uh, but anyway, guys, that's going to pretty much wrap up this video. If you did like this video, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Borderlands content that's coming. Um, as far as what we're going to do next, uh, I think I'm going to do maybe a video on the Shield of Aegis Shield or the Tannis Laser of Enlightenment. Um, this, These are both uh, Temple of Boom quest reward unique weapons, and they're both pretty good. But anyway, guys, again, take care, and I'll see you all next time.